Hey guys, what's well, welcome to another video of mine, come on Blay, and this is another Chelsea video for you guys, and this video I'm going to be going with a Chelsea pretty good lineup for the potential 20, 20 to 21 season for next season, of course now, when is that going to begin, that's a question that is to remain to be seen of course with the coronavirus, COVID-19, um, you know, situation scenario, we are unsure whether the new season will start on time, it's looking unlikely because the Premier League is now postponed indefinitely so it probably will have the next season to resume or start at a later stage but in this video I want to get into the players that I believe that could be playing for Chelsea next season, my predicted lineup for next season, I want you guys to comment your predicted lineup in the comment section below, I want to see what you guys think as well but Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, starting off with the formation. Now, many of you on this channel that watch the channel for a long time know that, in my opinion, our best formation is 4 3 3. You know, 4 3 3 or the 4 2 3 1. We have the players that are suitable. We have the players that, you know, move the ball quickly, that are suited to, you know, a possession attacking, possession based style of football, style of game. That's the type of team that, you know, we like to build around, you know, have that style that that name that essentially but you know we have we play a lot of counter pressing football gay compressing football and 4-3-3 or the 4 2 3 one is the best formation to utilize that's the formation lampard's been using all of this season i think that's the formation that we should we should be using going forward now starting off with goal no questions asked kepper for the lava now i've gone for kepper in goal of course he's our number one he's the most expensive goalkeeper in history 71 million pounds of course he's going to be in goal it's not like we can get rid of him. Of course, he was outstanding with the last two to three games before, of course, the Premier League was postponed indefinitely. Keeping two clean sheets against Everton and Liverpool was amazing. Picked up some fantastic form. Distribution, a natural sweeper keeper, good with his feet, good commanding goalkeeper, and it's only going to improve. The guy has generational or world-class potential, in my personal opinion. Now, we know... That many of you guys want to sell Kepa, but if you think of it realistically, logically, you can't really sell Kepa at this moment in time because, of course, he's the most expensive goalkeeper of all time and he hasn't had the best of seasons. We'd be lucky to even coop about half of the amount of money we even splash out on him. He's on a lengthy contract of six years. We're paying him 200k a week, of course. What club is going to want to pay anywhere near the amount we paid for him and also the wages on top? So it wouldn't make financial sense or log logistical sense. It's almost impossible to get rid of Kepa. And, you know, we pay that amount of money for the investment, for the investment in Kepa, that one day he can become a world-class keeper. And he still has that ability and that potential. But the point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, we can't really get rid of him. We have to back him and put the faith in him. And for me, he will improve a lot next season. So give him the time and the tools, and he, in, you know, and he will improve in my personal opinion. So Kepa and goal. Left back and going for new signing. Hopefully to be our new signing, Alex Tellez. It's looking very, very likely that he will be our second signing. I have been told Alex Tellez is currently the priority at the moment. He's the player that you know we're focusing on. Of course, Sancho is one of the top targets at the moment. Dortmund are reluctant to sell. They don't want to sell or talk discussions or negotiations until the summer window. Now, with the global pandemic, it's looking more and more likely that Sancho could possibly stay at Dortmund another year. Of course, no one's going to be able to cough up the £120 million. Pounds, neither Chelsea or Manchester United, of course. A lot of clubs have been hit hard with the revenue, the profits, no TV money, no fan money, merchandise and your classic you know, revenue from outside sources because of the global pandemic. The world is going to be entering a recession. Of course, the clubs are not going to be able to afford its astronomical fees and wages. So I think Sancho will stay another season. But Alex said this is the main priority. We know that Alex says have 40 million euro release clause and it's looking like with Porto's poor financial situation, we could wrap up the deal for about 25 million pounds which is approximately 30 million euros. But for me, he's the main target priority for that left-back spot. For me, I love Alex Ellis. I've watched him for multiple years. He's got attributes to suit our system. He's fast, he's pace, he's agile, a set-piece specialist, a long-shot specialist, quick, very extremely precious, and one of the top full-backs in Europe as well. And with a pairing, full-back pairing of Alex Ellis and Reese James, who have put a right-back, would have the best full-back pairing in Europe in yeah in this moment in time Reese James would definitely go in the right back spot in my opinion there's no questions asked that's not even a debate if you ask me he definitely goes in that right back position and there's two centre backs I'd go for Gabriel from Lille and of course Andres Christensen who is our most technical defender and our best centre back at the club at this moment in time Gabriel of course very very skillful has really strong attributes to suit our system fits the profile of Lampard has watched him so he can come and sign now with Gabriel, of course, he's six foot two. He's strong. He's muscular, 
and the other benefit and advantage he's left footed and that's the main area at the moment left footed centre backs come at a premium at this day and age their quality, their skillful, he's Brazilian, so he's got that Brazilian flair and that techers. He's one of the best Brazilian centre backs prospects that are coming out of Brazil at this moment in time, alongside Edo Militao, who plays for Real Madrid. He starts attacks with his left foot, extremely fantastic, very technical, skillful, uh, ball playing centre back, really good technical ability, is strong in the air, is physical, suits the Premier League with his physicality and his strength. Insane with his left foot, can start many attacks with his left foot as well. And, you know, his ball playing ability is similar to David Luiz, but he's got that defensive solidity, a very commanding centre back that, in my opinion, is required at Chelsea, in my personal opinion. So, Gabriel goes in that left centre back position with his left foot, which is key, in my opinion, that is important. So, you look at teams like Man City with I, Merrick Laporte, who's left footed, these type of top centre backs with a left foot come at a premium because there's not that many on the market that are available. They are quite rare, and of course, they have extremely high technical amounts of ability. Now, going into that midfield three, I'd have, if we are playing a 4 3 3, but for the purposes of this video, we are going for a 4 2 3 1 that Lampard does you know, choose and is more superior to. We are going to go for a Jorginho and Kovacic pivot. Now, a lot of you may see that Jorginho may get sold this summer. Now, of course, of course, again, with the pandemic, it's looking unlikely. Lampard likes Jorginho, he is our vice captain, are one of our best players as well. Technically, very, very gifted. Is a key player to this team as well. And I think Jorginho will be staying at Chelsea. His quality is world class, amazing on the ball, a maestro, regista, really good at dictating the tempo of the game, etc. So, him alongside Kovacic, who's been our player of the season, is that even a question to us? Of course, Kovacic will be in this team, this predicted lineup for next season. I'll have Jorginho and Kovacic in that pivot together that worked so well at the start of the season, around September to October time on the Lampard's first season. And for that number 10 position, we are going to go for Hakim Ziyech from um, Ajax, of course. We signed him for £33 million, pounds, our first signing completed. And for me, he's an amazing signing. You know, left-footed as well, which is amazing. We need more left-footed players in our team. But he's got bags of potential, bags of technical ability entering his prime, so we're going to get the best years out of him. Agile, quick, an absolute maestro. The guy causes havoc to every team, a long shot specialist. Think of how Bruno Fernandes had that impact on Manchester United. Hakim Ziyech should hopefully have that similar impact. Left footed, long shot specialist, can dictate a game, you know, at the number 10 position, can turn the game within a flick of a second, has that creative spark, has that magic, that creativity that we've been crying out for the first half of the season, where time and time again, where we couldn't break down those lines. We couldn't break down those low blocks, those mid blocks. He can break those lines. He can enter those half spaces, operate in between lines, break those low blocks, those compact shapes, adds that creativity, long shot specialist, really good with passing and linking up the play. So quick, extremely skillful, and it's going to be a huge addition to this squad. And for me, Hakim Ziyech is a no-brainer. I'm so happy with his signing, honestly. The guy is amazing. And for that fee, it's a tremendous signing. £33 million pounds, an absolute bargain, if you ask me are Algerian Kevin De Bruyne. Now, front three, we are going to go for... Now, this is a sticky one here because, of course, with the global pandemic, it is kind of looking quite difficult to get Sancho over the line. Now, for the video purposes and for hypothetical reasons, if, let's say, we do sign Jane Sancho, he would slot nicely at that right-wing position. He's been tremendous for Dortmund, been their player of the season. He's been scouted by all the top clubs in Europe, PSG, Real Madrid, Manchester United, Barcelona, and, of course, to feed the Dortmund a commanding £120 million minimum shows you the type of player that he has. He's just turned 20 recently, and he has another decade of playing world-class elite football. The guy is generational talent. He's quick. He's Agile, clinical finishing, good passing, really good friends with most of our team. He's English, so it has an added bonus as well. So he won't have time to settle in because, of course, he, was, he grew up in London. So he won't have time to adapt or gel. And for me, he'd be an, uh, an amazing signing. A, definitely a marquee elite signing at Chelsea. But for financial reasons, we are unsure whether he will, of course, be signed. But Pulisic or Hazard or on that left-hand side, depending on who's on more form with both of them, are young, skillful, very highly technical center, um, left wingers and, of course, flank and wingers. So for me, they're, again, amazing signing. Pulisic was amazing this season on, up until, of course, his unfortunate injury. But for me, we'd have such a talented area in the winger department if we do get Sancho over the line. Pulisic, Hudson, Doyle, Sancho, all three have tremendous, tremendous abilities and futures. All of them are going to be world-class in the future. 
And it's a, it's a really bright future for Chelsea at this moment in time. And of course, striker, I'm going to go for Moussa Dembele from Lyon. Of course, he could come at a hefty price. But for me, he suits our system. He's got clinical finishing. He's played in the Premier League before, so he's Premier League proven. Lampard likes him. He suits our system. Good link-up play. Good finishing. So for me, that is my predicted lineup. If you do enjoy this video, to smash like button, subscribe to my channel if you're not here. Make sure you're on the case for every time I upload. And I'll see you guys for my next video. Peace.